If you want to know about the simple kinds of RAID, RAID 0 and RAID 1, we've got a separate video for that. Make sure you click the link here to check it out. This video is about RAID 5 and RAID 6, which are more practical for professional applications and less practical for home users. Just like RAID 1, RAID 5 is for protecting your data in the event of a drive failure. It requires at least three drives to operate with one of the drives being reserved to rebuild the data on the array if it dies. So if you had, say for example, six drives, you'd have the capacity of five drives. Because it stores data on multiple drives, you can read from it extremely quickly, making it great for archiving large amounts of data. However, without a complex hardware RAID controller, writing to a RAID 5 can be much slower, and rebuilding the array once a drive has failed and you replace it with a new one can be time consuming. RAID 6 is kind of like a more durable version of RAID 5. It can survive up to two drive failures out of the entire array and still be completely rebuilt. That means, however, that you have to have at least four drives and it is much slower to write than RAID 5. So pretty much, unless you have a complex hardware RAID controller, you can't really run RAID 6. When you're running four drives, it's really impractical compared to something like RAID 10, and is more designed for professional applications where a large number of drives are built into larger arrays. If you're watching this, you've probably watched our video on RAID 0 and 1 already. For consumers, RAID 1's fine. If you're running only four drives, RAID 1 will give you six terabytes of usable space using three terabyte drives. RAID 5 gives you a bit more space, but you write to it much slower, so it can be useful, but RAID 6 gives you only six terabytes of space and it's much slower and requires one of these bad boys. The numbers start to look very different once you move up to an eight drive configuration, however. RAID 1 will give you 12 terabytes of usable space only. Half of your drives are used for redundancy. RAID 5 gives you 21 terabytes of space and RAID 6 will give you 18 terabytes of space, plus the fact that RAID 5 can sustain one failure and RAID 6 can sustain two failures. Ah! Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of As Fast As Possible on TechWiki. If you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe and also don't forget to hit that like button. It helps us out a lot. Share this video with anyone you think might benefit from it. And if you have any ideas for future episodes of Fast As Possible, click the link in the description of the video and leave us a suggestion. We will make sure to monitor it and hopefully you'll see your idea soon. See you guys again next time.